Hi there, welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today's video is going to be one where I'm going to be creating some fantasy eyeshadow palettes. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. Today we're going to be taking all of my eyeshadow singles and we're going to be creating some custom eyeshadow palettes using some inspiration and just having fun building color stories. A lot of people always enjoy when I do these videos, so we're going to do lots of swatches and all of that, so I hope you're here for it, and let's just get cracking. But before we get into the video, for those people who are new here, hi, my name is Maika. I live in the Netherlands. I like to come on here to chat about eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice, and getting the use out of my makeup. But because I have fair skin with a cool neutral undertone, my makeup preferences just lie somewhere differently than most creators do, and I have been reviewing makeup for more than a decade. So if that's something you're interested in, then definitely consider subscribing. So in case you've never seen these videos before, what I like to do is just take some inspiration, usually from pictures, to create new color stories. And I actually did a video series for, I think, more than a year, where I did a video like this once a month, and I included the looks that I did with the palette and all of the swatches and all that. And then nobody was watching it, or at least too few people were watching it, even when I connected it to a monthly giveaway. <laughs> so um, if your question at the end of this video is, but where are the looks that you can do with these, uh, with these, um, with these eyeshadows, then I'm going to have to disappoint you because that's just not something that works. However, me just going through all of my singles and putting the color stories together, that's the bit that everybody seems to be interested in. And... I have a slightly form, like a, and I have picked a different form for the inspiration today. I'm not going to be working with pictures. In fact, what I sometimes like to do in my day-to-day -day life is to match my makeup to my wardrobe, to my outfit. And I have so many fun prints in my wardrobe that I was like, why not use my wardrobe as inspo? for some of these color stories. Like you can't see it because I'm not on camera today, but here's the blouse I'm wearing today. It's a vintage number. And if I still have time left after filming the five things that I already knew I wanted to film with, maybe we can do a color story based on this as well. Like look at those fun colors, super fun. Um, but yeah, I have a dress here. I've got some blouses here. I've got a cardigan here and I've got a turtleneck top. So let me clear the decks so you can see the dress that actually kicked off this entire idea of let's use my wardrobe to build color stories. And of course, like this, I can't show you, but at least you'll get the pattern. If you want to see this dress on, I have a video that went live on my second channel on Wednesday where I put this in a haul because it's a recent find. It's from H&M and it's this really gorgeous paisley print with like this light creamy yellow background a like lighter, almost periwinkle blue, a purple, a dark purple, or possibly even a navy, and a nice, lovely green shade. And then I'm not sure if you can see, but the green actually has this little bit of darkness there as well, and there's black for the lining and stuff like that. So I thought that this pattern, this print, like, I always keep telling people that my favorite shades to wear on my eyes are blues, greens, and purples. But I realized trying to go through my wardrobe to find items that I could use for inspiration for color stories, that that actually also goes for my wardrobe. Who knew? How can I be that consistent? <laughs> I just am, it seems. Um, so yeah, this is just a really fun wrap dress with a long sleeve, so it's going to be perfect for fall. Uh, and I just really like the print. So I'm going to try and see if I can keep that print in, in frame. Because <laughs> that's always the issue when I use the images, that it's difficult for people to remember what the inspo was. So this way we have the inspo. Yeah, so I think there's mainly six different shades in this dress. So we're going to do a six pan, which means we're going to grab our little Z palette here. Um... So the Z palette, and since we have blue, greens, and purples, uh, and not that much neutral, maybe, ooh, I know. I immediately knew already, looking at this dress, that Max Nylon had to be like that creamy yellow background. So we're gonna go with nylon there. And then I just think I need to go for, I don't have any black, I think, in my singles collection. 
because um, it's just not a shade I tend to wear. So I think maybe in the lethal, uh, lethal one, I can find some things here. So that may be a good one. In this, do I have a green like that? Ooh, maybe, maybe this one. This may be a good match. Ooh, almost exactly like it. This is Makeup Geek's Epic. So we're, we'll select the green there. Uh, the reason why I haven't selected a purple yet is because I have a blue, a green, and a purple palette. So this is like a light blue and a dark blue. So maybe we need to go in with this dark blue matte, which of course I've forgotten what it is because it doesn't have a name on it. I think it was a Nabla shade that I... Uh, repressed or maybe this because that's a bit more like purple leaning Let's see what is this Atrame oh this is ink from glam shop which I think yeah it's this like more inky shade it's more bluish uh, bluish purple <laughs> and then I think maybe this can you see this over here this shade here can be nice for like that periwinkle moment. Ooh, that's close. Uh, another Glam Shop shade, and it's called, uh, oh, I can't pronounce this, but it's got the name Fioletti in, which I believe is purple in, uh, I think it's like purple blue or something like that. Um, and then here we have the purple palette. Yeah, this 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 purple is instantly drawing my drawing my attention, but maybe this as well. Cuz this is more like pinky purple. Or is that that's not purple enough? Hmm. Maybe the one below it. Ooh, that's good. That's a good match. This is Sydney Grace's Awake. Maybe High Roller from Luxie. I think I like the look of high, high Roller better, but it doesn't go with the pattern. Like, it, it's not the same shade of purple. It's too blue. So I think I'm going to have to go with... Am I right? Is it Awake? Did I read that correctly? Yeah, Awake from Sydney Grace is in there. And then I don't really have a black, but the darkest thing I have, I think, for that really dark shade, it will go still. If I go with this shade here, this is from Sydney Grace. It's uh, a shade I got in a mystery bag. It's one day at a time. And it's not gonna be the same because I don't have that black shade. But this, I think can work with this, like with this dress. What, what do we think? Do we think it's close enough? Let, let's do some swatches. See, that purple has a lot of black to it. Which, and then here's Epic, and here is Awake. Ooh. See, like purple and green together is just such a good combination. And then Epic has a little bit of a darker base, so it's going to go really well with the depth of that other purple shade. And I think it can be really good for deepening up the blue as well, because that looks a little bit brighter, perhaps. But that looks really stunning. Um, and that shimmer is like really spot on too. So yeah, I think we did it. What do you guys think? So that was a dress, that was dress number one and that was an easy one. I also have this really lovely blouse from Monkey um, that I really enjoy. It's one of my favorites. I wear it all the time. And I just found out that I have a bunch of like blouses and dresses and things that have like a rendition of a blue green purple color story now this is definitely more like different tones of green with a like lilac -y purple and like a creamish white shade you could say so you have the dark green and like a sagey green and like a creamy yellowy green and then we have the lilac and then just a creamy almost white shade in the flowers here and also here in this floral design, you can see it as well. And the buttons on this are really cute because it has like this little glow sort of thing to it. So it definitely needs a bit of shimmer. So let me pull this to the side so we can still see our inspirational pattern here. Again, I think one, two, three, four, five, maybe six shades is going to be enough. So I'm going to take my little Z palette again. And I think we're going to be very green and purple heavy here. So we need our green palette. 
and we need our purple palette. So I think for the purple, do I have anything that's a, that like dusty purple? Oh, wait, I think I do. I think in this Inglot palette, I may have something that's like maybe this, but it's too dark. Do I have purples somewhere else, maybe? Maybe this, because this is a multi-chrome. Um, this is Touch of Glam Lucid Lavender. So that's really nice, because it has that like shift to it as well. And I don't think I see anything that's like light enough in here. Maybe this, I think this is another Makeup Geek shade. This is Pop Culture, but that's too blue. Like it's not, per like it's not gray tone enough for it to really go. So I think this is gonna be the best one. And if I wanna substitute a matte there as well, like maybe this, but this is again, not gray tone enough. This is Regal from Sydney Grace, but I think that can round out the palette quite nicely, I think. It's good to have like a transition shade, right? So this is the purples that we need. And then here, I think none of the greens in this uh, Inglot palette are right. We've got to decide. Let's see what we've got going in here, because we have a lot of greens in here. And I definitely think that something like that, that's more like yellowy shade, uh, can be something like that's on this side, because these are the warmer tones things, and then this is like the cooler tone stuff. Mm, oh, th this. It's perhaps too dark and too gray. This is more teal leaning. Uh, but this, I think, can go with the darkest shade here. Uh, it's not an exact match, but Island Paradise from Sydney Grace. I think that can be like the darkest shade there. And then like something a little bit lighter, a little bit more sage leaning. I have sagey greens more so in my palettes, I think, than I do here. I remember that I have this shade from, I think it was a Glam Shop shade, let me see. Yes, this is Glam Shop, this is Washed Olive. I think that can be, ooh, that's really nice for that lighter, lightest one, actually. It's not as creamy, but that can be the lightest one. And then maybe this one, which I'm sure is a Sydney Gray shade as well. Oh, it's Team Captain from ColourPop. That can be like the mid shade, because I don't have anything that's like more sage and not as bright as what we've got going on in the shirt. Um, and then I was thinking, because I do want like a good amount of shimmer and we have four mattes here and because of the buttons having the shine and we still need something to do with like that creamy white. And again, whites, I don't have much, but maybe one of these neutrals can work or possibly, because I love that look as well, adding a multi-chrome with like a greeny flip, something like what's going on here. That might be nice. Maybe this one, because this has like the green undertone as well. This is Mural from Cleona. I think we're gonna pop that one in. How does that look? I like the look of that. Let's swatch. Ooh, this, this would be a color story I would love. It's not exactly the same as a shirt. It's gonna be very difficult to match that. But like these four mattes with those two multi-chromes, I definitely think it can work. Why doesn't this exist as a palette yet, people? I, this I would buy. The next pattern, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult, I think, because I don't have like a full on bright red anywhere. Uh, so we're going to definitely be inspired by this vintage blouse. Um, it's got red, it's got like this magenta shade, green, blue, black, white, and of course the bright yellow. I don't think I still have a bright yellow, but I do have some other things that I'm sure I can work in. So let's, uh, let's get inspiring. Let me, let me flip this over so we can still see it in the corner here. And then we'll see where it goes. Let me see. So the closest thing I have to a uh, light yellow, uh, to a true yellow is this. This is Tangy Citrus from Sydney Grace. And I, the only bright pink I already know I have is this one. This is uh, Sandbar from ColourPop. So that, that covers pretty much those two shades. 
Now looking at my Inglot shadows as well. The other only yellow I have is this like um, pastel thing, but I think I like the shimmer better. So we'll keep the shimmer in. Um, and of course for blues and greens I have a lot, but I don't have anything that's super bright. What's going on in my Lethal palette? So I've just used this Coastal Sense palette to put all of my Lethal shades in. And the thing is, I forgot to bring my little tool up here to take these out. So I hope I don't break these because I think, for instance, something like this or this sky blue, I think is going to be perfect to represent this. Um, so I hope I don't break this. <laughs> I think this will be nice to go in there. Like, if we look at that, like that's the exact same shade and I'm sticking my nail into the ColourPop shade because what else is new? And then like this bright grassy green, I don't really have anywhere, but as far as bright greens go, I think the lethal one has the most to offer um, because like a grassy green, I don't really have. It's like always going to be something more foresty green Mm. Where, did the green, where did the green palette go? Like, look, if you look at this, it's all like murky greens. It's not as bright and vibrant, so I should definitely select maybe this one here, which I know is Vertex. Um, can I get to it though? How am I going to get to it? Like I put this palette together, not thinking like, oh, I'm gonna pull it apart again, like straight away. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a shame. Can we just imagine this being in here for a minute? Because I don't want to wreck this and like break anything by accident. Um, there is a very nice dark blue in here though as well. So I think that's going to be this shade here. This I think is Night Spirit. No, Deceit. So Deceit can be in here. And is that it? No. Oh. This, this still has a bit of purple too. Maybe, maybe that one. I still, I, I really just want to use this one somehow. This is High Roller from Luxie. So that can go in there to represent this like squiggly line. And then I think we have the main colors. Again, I don't really have a true black or a true white in here. Uh, those are just not eyeshadow shades I use. So let me swatch it so I don't forget. For the bright blue, for the yellow, and for the pink, we have these three. Like, that yellow isn't, like, super yellow. You can just tell. But I don't love yellow eyeshadow on myself, so I just don't wear it. So that's why I don't have it a lot. And then the blue and the purple. Oh, I don't have the red, of course. But then again, I don't have red eyeshadow. I really don't. Like, the only things that I still have that are remotely warm tone like that are these. That's it. <laughs> Everything else is more cool tone leaning. Um, so I don't really have a red, but yeah, it's like a 1980s color story. Would I wear this on my eyes? I don't think so. Um, it's pretty, but not something I need. So I know the next two items are going to be very tough for me to actually make work. I think I can make this one work still. This is a vintage cardigan that I bought. Um, wait, let me do it like this so you can actually see it a little bit better. Uh, so it's got like, again, like that softer grayish sagey green with a dark green, like a berry red, a brighter red, and like an orangey shade. So again, it's like five colors, isn't it? So again, the smaller palette. What's up with the smaller palette? So I think for the base shade, I already see which shade I want to use actually. I know it's not a perfect match, but I think something like this, maybe this one. That can be close to this grayish one. This is Emerald Eyes from Sydney Grace. And then of course we have that dark green again. So I think I'm, I'm inclined to go in with this dark one again as well. But I think I wanna use the shimmer because a dark shimmer is nice. This is Midnight Green. So I think those two can work quite well. For that orange shade, I know I wanna go in with Flamethrower. I know it doesn't really go, it's not the same sort of like yellowy orange tone, but I think Flamethrower for Makeup Geek is a nice one here. And then I just have those berry tones, which again, I don't quite have <laughs> in my singles collection. It's, it's, it's just something that I wouldn't wear much. But everything that I have that's leaning slightly warm toned, I've just gotten rid of over the years. 
in terms of singles, or at least most of it. I don't think I've ever owned like a berry single shade to begin with. So the closest I'll get is some of these warmer purples on this side. So maybe I need to go in with this. I don't remember what this is exactly. This is Sweetheart from Sydney Grace. So I'll go in with, I don't have anything this red, you guys. I just, maybe multi-chromes can come to save the day because this can be like this shade and it's got like, this is Forge from Cleona, right? Or Smolder, Smolder. So that has that, like, it kind of bridges the gap between those two and it's got a green flip. So I think that that can tie, tie the palette together. And then those are the shades pretty much, right? That are, that are in here. Or am I making a mistake here? Am I missing something? Let's swatch and see if we're still miss, missing something. So here are the greens. Ooh, those are like perfection here. That pop of orange, the purple, and then Smolder. Yeah, Smolder is closer to the berry shade, I think, in the pa in the sweater. But still, it's far too red for it to really be. I don't really like wearing red eyeshadow. But I think, like, as an inspiration, these five shades kind of come together. What do you guys think? I would wear this. Like, this is great for the fall season. Oops. <laughs> this is great for the fall season, I think. And then the final item I wanted to show you as a bit of inspiration. It's this stripey number. It's again from Monkey. It's one of their turtlenecks. And I love the Monkey Stripe turtlenecks. They're like an addiction. It's got this like almost like fleshy nude lavender shade. And then it's got a navy, a burgundy, an orange, and a beigey brown. This is great in the fall time. So again, five colors. One, two, three, four. Five colors. So let's see if we can match it up. For the orange, like, I don't, again, have that berry, like, deep of a berry purple, but let's, uh, let's go with this. And I think if my, if I take my lethal palette, I think the closest I'm going to get to that shade here, maybe the one that I've got over here. So, this, like, berry purpley tone. Like, it's not the same red as it, as I had in the palette, or in the cardigan, for sure. Like this is pretty close, I think. This is Unity from Lethal. So that works. And then I think that beigey brown, I have that a million times over, of course, because I love a beigey brown. Um, so it's more this shade that I'm looking for. Ooh, maybe this. Yeah, this is MAC. This is Corduroy from MAC. Ooh, it's like an exact match. <laughs> I love that for me. Okay, so that works. And then that flesh tone, sort of, sort of like this, right? Let me see if I can find that in a shimmer. Because it would be nice to have another shimmer in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can already see a couple of shades here. I think this, like, top row, like this one especially, is it MAC yet? No, it's Makeup Geek. It's Twilight from Makeup Geek. I think that can be nice for that, uh, like, pinky shade in the middle. And then I have the berry. I have the... Huh? I'm, oh, the navy. Oh, yeah, the navy. Um, then, of course, we need the blue one, which I've tucked away off to the side. Ooh, yeah. This one. <laughs> I open the palette, and I'm instantly that one. It is Let's Cuddle from Sydney Grace. Wow. Do you guys see what I see? Isn't this, like, the best the best sort of fall palette you've ever seen. Oh, let me swatch it. We have that brown. I mean, Max Corduroy was never like the best at swatching. Um, and then we have Twilight, Flamethrower, both from Makeup Geek. Here is Let's Cuddle from Sydney Grace. And here is Unity from Lethal. I think that's a stunning palette. I would wear that. I think that would be stunning. Like this is how you can make warm tones wearable if they frighten you or if you feel they're not right, like putting them with other shades that they can clash against is really nice. So I'm running out of time. I need to leave in like five minutes. So I'm gonna quickly round up the video. Uh, thank you so much, very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed putting these color stories together and uh, having a bit of fun. Do this as well with your own uh, makeup collection if you haven't yet. Take, take inspiration from somewhere, whether it's nature, 
images you see online, your own wardrobe. You can do so much. And I hope this was definitely a lot of fun to film again. So I hope you really enjoyed it. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more by me. By the time you're watching this, I will have one more video left in a single shadow week. So if you'd like to stay tuned for all of that goodness, but I do make a lot of other content about eyeshadow palettes as well. So if you'd like to stay tuned, then I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.